thanks for tuning in to another IGTV episode. You got me, myself, and my messy closet. But hey, I'm human, right? So, anyways, besides the point. Um, a couple of weeks ago, my stylist Sarah went over casual looks for like your average jeans, your moms, utilizing the summer trend of tie-dye. So I thought since I work with a lot of startups, entrepreneurs, young professionals that realize they can't wear Forever 21 or um, look like they're a college boy living in their parents' basement, um, as well as people going from their home office into an office setting, I thought, why don't I talk about tie-dye and how you can wear it if it's in a business casual atmosphere. So here we go. Um, so here's a tie-dye shirt. Um, it's lavender and white. It's a t-shirt. Um, I actually thrifted this um, at Arks Valley Village, um, which was very surprising because if you are a thrifter, um, it's very hard to find tie-dye just because it is super trendy right now. So just FYI. Um, but then I paired it with a dark pair of jeans, again going for the business casual look. And then I paired it with this Ralph Lauren vintage navy blue blazer. Um, just to kind of do a little contrast so the lavender isn't just like pop, here I am. Um, it kind of tones it down a little bit, again going for that business casual look. Then I paired it with this a watch, which is always a good business casual accessory to have. And then I paired it with a statement earring actually. Um, just because it needed a little something. And again, um, just dressing it up a little bit um, and making it a little bit, well, dressier. So that's outfit number one, um, which side note, if you wanted to go a little bit further and if you like tucking, you could do a little front tuck, which I actually prefer this look better, but I know a lot of people aren't into tucking um, but you could do that. I like it better this way because I feel like it looks a little bit more dressier, but to each their own. Okay, so that's outfit number one. Outfit number two. So this is a blue and white tie-dye shirt. I actually got this one from Target, um, which side note, um, their oversized t-shirts are fantastic. Um, you know, T-shirts are one of those things you just have to buy every couple of years, you know? And if you are the type of person where you're like, oh, I don't want to spend, you know, a lot of money on a T-shirt because I know I'm just going to have to replace it later on and you're not a thrifter, then um, Target's actually a great option because they're super affordable. And again, they're just one of those things you have to replace all the time. So why spend the money? But to, again, to each their own. But I do like the ones from Target. But anyways, um, this is from Target. And then I paired it with a um, pencil skirt actually so you would tuck this in um, and you know pull it out a little bit like that or if you're slender keep it fully tucked um, isn't this skirt cute it has a little side zipper I think I got this one years ago from Express yeah from Express anyways um, tuck it in and then to dress it up just a little bit I paired it with this neutral statement necklace again Kind of same concept of me, how I'm wearing my statement earring. I put a statement necklace with this one just to elevate the look just a little bit, make it more dressy. And then of course you can wear a blazer over this look as well. So that's look number two. My third and final look, a dress pant. These are actually um, a chino pant because I love chino pants. But um, obviously you can wear any type of dress pant ankle fit or whatever type that you like, like a wide leg, something like that. Either way, a dress pant. Again, tucking it in. So same type of concept with a pencil skirt, but it's just a pant. So you can tuck that in. And then these ones are navy blue because I'm showing you like a monochromatic look. But then with a statement necklace, and again, you could do an earring too. But a statement necklace, I went with a little contrast just to break it up a little bit since it is a monochromatic look. Then, of course, you can wear a blazer over it as well. Um, maybe you can even wear like a vest. Hmm, that's an idea. Anyways, so those are my three top looks for business casual atmosphere utilizing the trend of tie-dye. So I hope this helps. Um, if it doesn't, make sure that you send us a message because we have those 30 minute virtual consults where it's an open-ended conversation. We can literally get you in the right direction and give you some outfit ideas. So 
um, visit us at mhstyleconsultants.com. Until next time, bye guys.